Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to show you how to disable the TPMS warning lamp on your Honda Goldwing. If you're using an aftermarket TPMS system, you may not want the annoying Honda TPMS light to come on when your sensor batteries go dead or they lose connection. Okay, so now that I've got this, this unit kind of lifted up just out of the way, I didn't unplug it, I didn't disconnect it, I've just kind of kind of sit in here, and that's how I was able to get the TPMS controller. You see it here, I've got this screw, and there's another screw back here, you might not be able to see it. I've got both of those out, so it's loose, I'm ready to take it out. There is a... You can forget about some of this other stuff up here. That's just extra accessories that I've added. But there's a gray connector right, I'm not sure if you can see it because it's so dark in there, right there, right down next to the TPMS unit. And that gray connector we have to disconnect and so that we can lift the unit out. Now don't confuse it. There's another large gray connector up here and it's not that one, it's the slightly smaller one way back here by the TPMS unit down onto the side. So I'm going to disconnect that. It's hard to do it and hold the camera, so I'm going to set the camera down and I'm going to disconnect that cable. Okay, I was able to get this unplugged. I just want to show you what the plug looks like on, on this end. But the other side, which is sort of attached to the frame, I want to show you what you have to do, if I can get it in the camera view here. It's a very, very tough uh, plug to get undone. If you look on the back side of the plug, you'll see there's a little... Um, let me see if I can get the light on here. There you go. I'm going, to let, I'm going to take a picture of this. You'll see what you have to mash down on that. At the end of that little tab, you have to mash down on that while you're pulling the plug apart, and it will disconnect. Uh, that little opening there is what holds this little um, tip right here that kind of holds it in place. That's what holds the plug together. So it's... Uh, I would say is a level of difficulty is probably one of the most difficult plugs to get to, mostly because this unit is in your way and you've got this piece of metal kind of hitting you. You could remove this, but it's a hassle. So this is the easier way to do it if you can do it. Now we're going to be able to pull our TPMS unit out and work on it. Okay, what we're looking for is a white wire with a yellow stripe, and I believe that's it right there. The yellow is so pale, it's almost impossible to see. It's really hard to see. And then we have a green wire, which is our ground, and that's the one we're going to be splicing into. We're going to splice the white with the yellow into the green, and we're also going to splice the black with the white, which is right here. There's a black wire with a white line going down it, so we're going to cut this wire and this wire and splice them into the green wire. On this project, I'm going to use these clamp style connectors from Wago. I'll put a link down below so you know where to get these. I've found these to be extremely reliable and uh, especially a little simpler than soldering, even though soldering is a good method as well. You'll notice on the back of this connector, it shows you how much, uh, you have a little guide to show you exactly how much wire you need to strip off. It's always a good idea to give a little tug, just to make sure you get a good 
firm connection. Okay, all of these feel pretty good. You see what I did here is I put the green on the on the two ends, the, the ground uh, on this end, this end, the cut, that, so that this kind of takes up the space of where I cut those in two. And so now I've got a fairly flat, these two just stay open. And that should defeat our TPMS warning light on the 2012 Goldwing. Now we'll go back and put this on and give it a try. Now if we did our job, that yellow TPMS light over here shouldn't come on when we turn the bike on. And it doesn't. This is the side stand light. Our two TPMS lights are over here on the left hand side and they're not illuminated. That's what we want. 